now has a chance to play a little offense himself, but he beams Ramirez, who uses his own weaponry, throwing his helmet at him. Vasquez and Ramirez were ejected from this game. Lloyd McClendon had been ejected as well. Seven out of four, Dave Weathers to Jason Kendall, the grounder to Jose Hernandez. Hernandez, nice play for the out, but wait a minute, take another look. Is it an out? Pirates manager Lloyd McClendon will come out. He's not happy with a call by Rick Reed. McClendon gets ejected. So what do you think you, would you do if you were Lloyd McClendon? You'd do that, right? Pick up the base and walk away with it. McClendon's first stolen base since 1992 when he was a player with the Pirates. Rick Reed, mm, not amused being shown up by the manager Lloyd McClendon, the rookie skipper for the Pirates. You, think you needed to laugh, didn't you? Bottom of the 11th. Oh, yeah, they put down a new base. They didn't even bother to ask Lloyd for it back. Peril. Goof. Top of the second. Pirates up 3-0. And Brian Giles not really feeling very festive when that 2-0 pitch was called a strike. Later, he would be caught in the observatory and had a little bit to say to Mark Barron. Fast forward to ninth. Adrian Brown. He was less than pleased. Do you like to ring him up and punch him out? Lloyd McClendon wanted to throw out. They threw each other out. Remember last season when Lloyd got asked to leave? Wanted to take a souvenir with him. There would be no fabulous parting gifts this time around. Lloyd just left. Sort of baseball's version of the Bob Knight chair. We see that from time to time. It keeps coming. After the game. Mark Bellhorn, who would help him out. No score, two on. Alex Gonzalez, who would later homer, lines this one off the right field wall. And Todd Hundley is on the way home, and Hundley is called safe by Matt Hallowell. Jason Kendall. I tagged him. I really did. And bang, bang play. Maybe he nicked him. Lloyd McClendon comes out, picks up the argument from there. To no avail. Cubs is two. Bottom nine. Pirates down 9-8. Alfonsic is 2-1. Pitch is called a strike. Kendall has a beef. Next pitch, he grounds out to Antonio Alfonsic. Kendall has more to say to Matt Hallowell as he goes to the dugout. And this time he says, you can keep on going right on down the gate and go sit and start eating. And, and Kendall's cussing. And then Lloyd McClendon is clapping. And then he, too, gets to go early. Game first shutout for him. Pirates, Angels, bottom four. Mike Sosha, Tim Cheetah having a discussion. Lloyd McClendon now having a discussion with Rick Reed. Can you hear me now? 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 Judd finally got mad and just threw McClendon right out of there, so Bill Verdon's going to take over. Pirates down 6-1. If you guys did score Andy Bennis, it's Brian Giles looking, gives the fielders a rest. Giles gives Tim Sheeta a piece of his mind. Oh, boy, and now Lloyd McClendon comes out. He's going to get tossed. Just leave the bases. That's all we ask, so we can keep playing. Just leave the bases out there. He would. Head for the showers, but at least everything was kept on the diamond. McClendon. And his Pirates going down 7-3. Lloyd McClendon's Pirates, a loss to the D-backs, would be Pittsburgh's seventh straight, matching their longest losing streak in two years. Bottom four, one nothing D-backs. Kenny Lofton on first for Jason Kendall. Lines out to Matt Williams. They double up Lofton, or do they? Look at this. Lofton clearly back in time. He should have been safe. Lloyd McClendon pointing that out out there with Charlie Relaford. But you know what? Lloyd often has issues with first base umpires. McClendon gets himself run. But it wasn't quite as bad as June 26th of 2001. Let's set the Wayback Machine for that date and visit Lloyd McClendon, who got tossed and says, you know what, I'm taking first base with me. Let's get back to the Pirates Cubs. Bucks going for a sweep behind the brilliant Jeff D'Amico. And here pitching to Hesop Choi in the second. Abraham Nunez, the one hopper, the throw, and they got it. Until Blue says no. Lloyd McClendon does not like the safe call. He's going to come out and argue a bit. We'll take another look. Choi actually said afterwards, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was out. Ball beat me there, and clearly he did. But Don Deckinger may be. No, that he's not. I'll let that go. Four batters later. Damian Miller, he's from Scotts, and I'm from Scotts, and he's from lacrosse, though. Three-run home run to left field. Cubs go up 3-2, his fifth, and now Lloyd wants a little more because you just cost me three runs, mister. Oh, and he gets ejected from the game. It's up 8-6. Bottom 10, one out. Scott Podsednik checks his swing. He'd later single. Lloyd McClendon out to argue, loses it. The umpire, Dave Eddings, tosses him. McClendon 
Hey, can you hang on to that from the lot of card for a second? Back in the majors this season, top four, Edgar Renteria faking the bunt, pulls it back, pitch called a ball, and Lloyd McClendon is going to go nuts. Coming out, wants a piece of Eric Cooper and Mike Riley, and, well, we know how this ends. Lloyd, of course, would get his way, candy and everything. No. Lloyd, he's going to go full out Lou Pinella and get shot. Back to the game. Bottom three, one of them Pirates. Zambrano to Craig Wilson. Nailed for the fourth time this series. Wilson and Zambrano start jawing at each other. Benches would clear. What about the bullpen? The bullpen, meanwhile, while the benches are clearing, we show them because they don't seem too overly concerned. <laughs> Lloyd McClendon discussing things with the umpires, though. Bottom four, one nothing Pirates. Dal Ward is up facing Zambrano. Oh, no. Ward is nailed two by Zambrano? Boy, the Cubs Pirates series hit by pitch. Cubs zero, Pirates 10. Top of the ninth, 6 1 Chicago. Mike Johnston on the mound facing Todd Walker. Walker. Oh, hitting the hit. And we're not talking to Selly. Home plate um Jack Samuels tosses Johnson. McClendon and Samuels gets into it. Same inning now. 6 1 Cubs. Bags full. Two out from Moises Alou. I build up the drama because I have a lot to say about Moises. Precautionary back on Thursday. The waters by the three rivers. Relatively calm in the two games since until the ninth. Mike Gonzalez up in Tony Womack's kitchen. Jason Kendall has some things to say to Tony La Russa in the dugout. Brian Gorman, the umpire, says to La Russa, do not come out here. Lloyd McClendon later said, I'm not going to let anybody holler at my players. And now everybody's hollering. Shades of La Russa and Dusty Baker last year did not did too. My dad's bigger than your dad. Shut up. No, you shut up. <laughs> Standoff was a stalemate. A game went to the Redbirds who have a four-game sweep in Pittsburgh. Everybody ejected. Cards win 4-2. Six bucks in the eight. Jason Dukesher hits. Jason Kendall right in the year. Bottom eight. Solomon Torres going to hurl one behind Damon Miller. Damian Miller is a... Uh, Kendall was okay. Now home plate umpire Kerwin Danley going to warn both benches. You and you. No more. And of course, we flash back to Friday night when both benches were warned in that game. In fact, both pitchers continued to hit batters after the warning. So this is getting very chippy. Next pitch on Saturday, Torres will throw behind Miller. Danley going to toss Torres. That's it. You've been warned. Lloyd McClendon comes out. He was also run. Lloyd McClendon getting run yeah, out once a week.